Movie reviews, yeah, Bravo Cop. Hey guys, so uh, back with another introduction slash movie review. So I've done one of the movie movie reviews, and plus uh, I got a cool new intro. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna tell you, you just come up with this, and plus uh, kind of a tripod e thing. It won't shake. That's the thing, unless it falls. <laughs> It'll probably fall. It fell uh, once saying this up. Oh, oh, okay. So, uh, Robocop. So that's today. I liked it. Just like a quick, that I enjoyed watching it. I enjoyed looking at this for two hours while in, while, uh, subconsciously knowing that I paid ten fifty for this. Ten dollars. I'm not paying you, Peter. Um... Apparently, I kind of people have money. I did this, this is all I do. That's it. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm, okay, I'm trying to get through, like, stuff that's, like, non spoil e. Um, so, actor, acting. Uh, great actor. I really like the, I really like the actors. Uh, I was with the guys who play Robocop. Um, uh, uh, I'm looking at thing right now, and I still can't get it right. Uh, Rick Maddox, um, they play Rick Maddox, uh, probably the, should I say it? Yeah, probably one of the biggest dicks in the movie. Um, yeah. Is it good one-liners? Um, uh, yeah. There, this was, like, a great movie if you're into, like, one-liner jokes. That's what that is. There's a bunch of that. Um, so, uh, that's it. A lot of Batman is in this. Um, Gary, o I spotted this pretty quickly. Gary Oldman, uh, Commissioner Gordon. I haven't saw the credits because I didn't see any of his old movies because now I'm not that old. Uh, Michael Keaton's in this uh, as uh, Raymond Sellers, the main dude. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I should do like a freeze type thing. It's like blacks out. Yeah, I'm going to do that for spoilers. Um, yeah. So, um, after this, like, dark period, I'm just gonna cover the lens. So that's I don't know. I don't have a plan, guys! God! Okay, um, so I'm just gonna cover the lens. When I come back, spoilers are starting. Yang! Okay, you should be expecting spoilers at this point. Ow. Okay, so, um, so I really like this movie. Um, bro. It got like an it got like a nice amount of action and like like really good amount of badassery with um what's his face? Hold on. What is his face? I I have all I have the cast right here, I should know this. Joel Kinnaman, uh who played um Alex Murphy or uh Robocop. <laughs> it was cool. Yeah. He uh did the role really well uh for what by the way, I didn't see the first one. So, I mean, I don't know the originals overly well. I just know, like, main plot stuff. Yeah. But, uh, it was cool seeing Commissioner Gordon in there. Uh, Batman. Uh, I mentioned the cast earlier. You should get those references. <laughs> um, uh, there's also with the badass, there's, like, a nice amount of, like, cool quotes. Especially, like, like heart compassion moments. Uh, I'm getting this to say, quote this. I read someone about the, um, so, I, like, when he's coming back home with the red, coming back home for the first time, and his son David's talking about, um, oh, my God, he's got a little, um, uh, talking about that he, like, saved all the, um, Red Rings games on his computer, and didn't watch them until he got home. And, ah, ah. I'm fine. Uh, Oh, that was heartwarming. It's sad. Just connection and stuff. Yeah. Um, not sure how how to feel about this. Um, basically the entire role of Jay Baruchel. I, that's probably not how you pronounce it. But like his like majority of his role was just um good one liners. I got it. They're pretty good one liners. But he didn't do all that much. <laughs> Um, what was it? Yeah, so like, it was just one liners. Um, they're pretty good one, although I admit they're pretty good one liners. Um, 
they're just like going down a line after Rokat. Rokat's like, oh, we're gonna make so much money off this. Um, well, he is. He was. He was supposed to be like the leader of marketing. Also, probably his best quote was, "Rokat and my friends absolutely loved because it was so funny." Um, well, yeah, Rokat and his friends absolutely loved because it was so funny. Um, well, yeah, Rokat and his friends absolutely loved because it was so funny. Um, well, yeah, Rokat and his friends absolutely loved because it was so funny. Um, on the roof, <laughs> like at the end, when um, Solos gets shot, um, and Robocop kind of dies the second time, you know Solos, um, by now. So, um, he's like, I'm just leader to Martin, don't shoot me in the face, please. Yeah, yeah, okay, he didn't say all that, but he's just like, I I'm just the director of marketing. Uh, no, okay. So, yeah, I enjoyed that. Quite a bit. I just lean forward. Oh. Um. Also, yeah. I love, um, characters that this movie could have really done without. I mean, um. Yeah, I'm just, like, running down the list of, like, characters that could have been scratched. Sorry, Samuel Jackson. You did not need Pat Novak. That little, like, television bit thing that didn't be getting in the end. I mean, sure, he did it for some pretty good quotes and just, like, kept things along. Didn't do all that much. Sorry. Yeah. You could have just, like, worked that in a different way and not had to pay Samuel Jackson. Blah, blah, blah. Jackson. Samuel Jackson for his role in the movie. Um. You didn't really need the mayor f um, all that much. Just skip that. Um, I'm running this list. I can't. Even, I don't even know who all these, who all of them are. Um. Oh, I know who that is. Now. Wow. Uh, sounds. Now. Okay. Back to this. I'm getting very sidetracked. Um. That Liz Klein chick who just like basically defies it. Yeah, that's not needed. Why? Yeah. Another thing is like nothing. The villain, villains, because there was like a grand total of like at the end of the movie about six. There was um, Valen, um, Chief Dean, kind of um, the two dirty cops, Sellers, and um, Maddox, which I'm calling. <sighs> okay, I need to throw this. Yeah, okay, just quit. Um, so yeah. Uh, a little bit of a drawback because they didn't do anything really significant. Sorry. Okay. Um. Another good point. Okay. Um. And typically in these movies, um, I like I like bringing I probably like bringing up just like random weird parts that just like this doesn't important. I don't know if you watch this, but I see, probably my favorite scene is when um. He's yelling at, like, basically an entire SWAT team. I think it was SWAT. This, it was either SWAT or security. Security, security guards for Omnicorp. Um. And, and he just was like, drop down, basically like, drop down your weapons. And typically in these scenarios, they're going to keep them up for a moment. And then the lead guy is going to start putting it down. And then everybody else follows suit. No. No, RoboCop. I'm... As soon as he says that, no, everybody, guns to the floor. I loved that. He's like, no, RoboCop is not somebody you want to screw with. No. No, you don't fight with RoboCop. Oh, no. I don't know what that bit was. Um. Okay. Yeah. I liked it. Um. Also, I regret it. Just like a, a movie question, was that like almost sex scene type thing necessary at all? No, no, it wasn't. It's like it was just like, is there a sex scene about to happen? No, no, it's not. Oh, okay. I no, 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 there wasn't. It was just like um, he took her top off and then like about to start and then he went outside because for the boom. And then another thing, how in the world did she put her, why in the world would she put her shirt back on? After that, you just heard a car explosion, probably killing your husband, I would just run out. I wouldn't care what I'm wearing, I'd be wearing at that point, I'm going outside. Also, why would you just go outside? The paper's not working, there's something wrong. Um, I think a 
of other things later. I'm just going to brainstorm. Can I think of anything? There, I was pointing out like random, like small things. Although I typically say them in this video, but I'm not going to. I want to keep video for positive. Yeah. Um, that's it. Uh, typically my you should die to work. Um, if you're left with that little of a body, I'm sorry, Robocop, but that's just not gonna work. And plus, that was gnarly damage when he died the second time. That looked like it took out every single vital he had left. Like, all of them. There was, like, a broken glass shattered thing here, so there's the brain. And, like, all this was open, so there's the remaining lungs slash heart, which I'm presuming is still there. That's, like, all the vitals he had left. And by the way, you still need a bunch of other vitals. Like, um, well, he probably doesn't need any more, so that takes out stomach. Like, mu stomach things. But, still. Um, so yeah. So, have you? I liked it. Uh, rating, I'd probably give it, like, an 8, 8.5-ish range. Uh, it's one of my favorite movie. By the way, I mean, it's favorite movie I've seen this year. Uh, I want to do more. I'm going to hopefully do more of these this year. So, subscribe. Yeah. For more. Uh, like if you enjoyed other things. Um, see you next one. Bye-bye.